Stem cells save lives. Since the late 1980s, stem cells have been used to replace cells in people with certain diseases. This replacement process is called cord blood stem cell transplantation. Stem cells have been used to treat thousands of patients with diseases ranging from cancers like leukemia to blood disorders such as sickle cell disease. In addition to these established therapies, there are new studies underway researching the use of stem cells to treat cerebral palsy in young children and Lou Gehrig's disease in adults. The possibility for future expansion to treat stroke, AIDS, spinal cord injury, diabetes, and heart disease will likely be realized in the near future. Stem cell therapies represent one of the most significant advances in healthcare in over a century. After a baby is born, her cord is clamped and cut. The remaining blood in the cord and placenta is full of stem cells. Sadly, this valuable resource is usually thrown away. In contrast, our program has been collecting stem cells from the umbilical cords of babies for the past four years. Unfortunately, fewer than 3% of the stem cells, which could be collected annually in the United States, reach cord stem cell banks. This is in part due to a lack of governmental funding, but is also due to a lack of public awareness. Umbilical cord stem cells are safe, non-controversial, and even endorsed by the Catholic Church. If you're having a baby and are fortunate enough to have a public stem cell collection program in your area, I urge you to consider donating this valuable resource, which is all too often discarded. Public collection programs such as ours are free of charge to the patient. If you do not have a public collection option available to you, you may consider private stem cell collection, however the cost must be paid by you. Both options have the potential to save a life. Don't throw away cord blood stem cells. Donate them. The life you save may be the life of your own child.